I think that climbing is one of the things that as cyclists we all want to improve. So here are seven climbing tips and hacks that will help you to ride up hills faster. And I'm going to try not to mention the T word, training. First one is to stand up and stretch. Yeah, sitting down, spinning a high cadence and getting a good rhythm is really important, but now and again, drop it down the block, stretch your legs, stretch your back, take a few pedal strokes, sit back down. Your legs and back will thank you for it. And you'll climb faster. Win-win. When you're riding longer climbs, so things that are half an hour to an hour long, eating and drinking is essential. You're generally going to be putting out more effort on a hill. You're going to be burning more fuel, more calories. So, energy drink. And things like energy gels are important too. It's a caffeine one, I kind of need it. This one's pretty important and it's self-selected cadence. In a world where you can watch pro cyclists like Chris Froome spinning really high gears or other guys pushing a really big gear, actually finding a cadence that works for you is important. So don't feel pressured to ride at 90 RPM if you can't do it and equally don't grind a gear. Find something that works to you and stick to it. When you're going hard up a hill, it's actually really easy to let your breathing get out of control. So when you start to feel the burn, you start to tie up. Think about bringing your breathing under control. Maybe you're counting your breaths, making an effort to breathe through your nose as well as your mouth. But I found that really regulating my breathing when I'm suffering, first of all, takes my mind off the suffering. And second of all, helps me to suffer a little less. Don't freewheel into the base of climbs. Press on and carry a bit of momentum, which will take you up the first part, especially on short, steep ones. However, don't get stuck in the wrong chain ring. I said I wasn't going to mention training, but I'm going to mention spending a bit of money. A lighter bike, so a lighter frame or a lighter set of wheels, will help you to ride uphill faster, provided you're as fit as you were on the heavier bike today. I'm lucky enough to be riding a very light Orbea Orca, so there's no chance of this workman blaming his tools. If you have the legs and you know where the top of the climb is, why not sprint for it? It's not going to hurt over the last couple of hundred metres, and those extra two or three seconds that you're going to claw back might help you to take the KOM or the QOM. There you have it, seven ways to hack your climbing without training too much. If you'd like to see our training video playlist, just click right there. To check out some more advice on climbing up hills, click down there. To subscribe to GCN, just click on the logo. It'll be probably on me. Give this video a thumbs up.